May the love, grace, peace, and mercy of Almighty God Yahweh be with each and every one of you all, wherever you are. In the name of Jesus Christ and by the mighty power of His Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, the world has a way of crucifying those whom it does not like. If you and me are in the truth, and the truth is in us, which is Jesus Christ, then the world will reject us. The world will not like us. They will not love us. They're going to hate us the same way they hated Jesus. So if you're expecting something different that the, for the world to love you, then that means that you want to conform to the ways of the world because light cannot mix with darkness. On the contrary, anywhere that the light of the Lord is, darkness must flee. And Jesus told the truth. That is why the world could not stand the truth because that's why they couldn't stand Jesus because he always spoke the truth. And that's why the world put him to death. When I say the world, I mean the people. They're the ones that put him to death. But, it, but Christ, Jesus Christ, he came into this world to die on the cross anyway. He willingly came to sacrifice his life for us. He became sin. He paid the price for our sin to restore the fellowship of the human race with their God, with their creator, Yahweh. When he died on that cross, brothers and sisters, and rose again, conquering death and the grave, he accomplished his mission to this world, to the people. That is why we must be always mindful of our Savior, Jesus Christ. In order to be saved and have fellowship with Almighty God Yahweh, a person has to believe in his Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. The world cannot be saved until it hears the gospel, people. And that is what you have been commissioned. The Bible tells us in the book of John, he says that, uh, John 15 and 16, he says that you didn't choose me, I chose you. I appointed you to go and produce lasting fruit so that the Father will give you whatever you ask for using my name. So if we know that we didn't choose him, that he chose us, that tells us all in itself that we are special. In his eyes, we are not guilty. We are sinless just like him. Even though we are in the flesh right now, there is a spirit inside of us. And that spirit has been made pure and holy and is presented before Almighty God Yahweh. And he will give us one day our immortal bodies and join that immortal body with that spirit that is already believed in him. So, therefore, we're going to inherit that. The same immortal body that Jesus Christ inherited, we're going to inherit that. It's just a matter of time when Jesus Christ comes back. It's very soon. The awesome thing about this, brother and sister, is that we didn't choose him. People are confused. People think, oh, I'm going to cry out to Jesus. No. He chose you. He sent his Holy Spirit upon you to convict you of your sins, to lead him, to lead you to him. That's the beauty of it, that He chose you. He commissioned you. He appointed you to go forth and tell the people about Him, about His salvation. That, uh, that is why Jesus Christ reminded His disciples in, in, the, in the New Testament to go and evangelize the world. The world is the people. He wanted His disciples to tell the world that all that they had heard and all that they had witnessed his last command to them, to his little band of believers, it was to preach the gospel of truth and of salvation to every person everywhere. And if you and me want to be Christ-like, if we say that we're Christians, then, then that's what we have to do. Because that is what a Christian is. It doesn't, you don't, Christian does not belong to a denomination. A Christian is simply a follower of Christ. Somebody who is Christ-like. Anybody. That's why, um, in the New Testament, Jesus also gave us this assuring words. He said, Lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. He's always with us. 
The ascension of Jesus Christ is a promise, people. When he ascended, that's a promise to us. It is an example of how he will return for us someday. We know that we will ascend with Jesus when he comes back with Jesus Christ. We're going to ascend with him when he comes back to receive us to himself. This wonderful description is in chapter 1 in the book of Acts, people, in the, uh, in the Acts of the Apostles. The disciples watched Jesus go up into the clouds. And as he went, Two men in white apparel promised them that he would return in the very same way. So we have to hold on to that promise while he waits for the right time. He has left us with his Holy Spirit. This is the third person, people. The Holy Spirit that I'm talking about is the third person in the Trinity. The Holy Spirit knows when we love Jesus Christ. He knows and he convicts us of our sins and leads us to Jesus. Jesus Christ, the one that chooses us, remember. And we can tell with our own spirit and our, and our souls that we belong to Almighty God Yahweh. Just like on the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit, the power of Almighty God Yahweh, He descended upon the disciples with the sound like of a mighty rushing wind. And they began to speak in tongues. And since that time, people, the world has always felt the impact of the gospel. And we need to continue to impact the world with that gospel. Because we have the Holy Spirit inside of us. We can let the Holy Spirit work in us, people, by telling others how Jesus Christ, He bought our lives by giving His own life. We need to tell the people about that. Jehovah Almighty God, Almighty God Yahweh, He gives us all things to enjoy.